hope you're all keeping super well. Welcome back to my channel. This week was supposed to feature some trips away in Cornwall. I had a week planned in St Agnes but unfortunately that has been cancelled. Instead keeping it local really. The weather's been pretty murky but today is Thursday and it's the first day of the actual some nice sunshine before it's gonna rain again tomorrow. So I'm gonna head to Fingal Bridge, which is in Dartmoor. It's only about 30 minutes away from Exeter. But I'm gonna start at Castle Drogo and then walk down and hopefully do some wild swimming. But we shall see about that. I have got my swimsuit on already, so I'm ready in that sense, but not so sure about actually getting in. We shall see how this video goes, but it's really pretty view, so I'll just capture some moments and hopefully some of you will enjoy it. If you haven't subscribed already, please do and hit that like button if you like this walk and if it makes you feel a little bit more autumnal or just cheers you up on these dull, dull days. And yeah, it should be a really pleasant day. recently found this walk it is literally half an hour from Exeter but the views of the valley are so beautiful and um, I'm gonna go to Sharp Tour and that overlooks the whole valley so the Tyne, Teen, Tyne Valley over there it's Castle Drogo I don't know if you can see it never actually been that walk looks amazing as well um, but yeah the National Trust car park is open the castle is not open unfortunately but yeah it looks like they're actually doing some maintenance work on it and it basically leads all the way down a really steep well it's not it's not really steep but it is quite a good gradient um last time I ran this in last lockdown it was really really cool and it was just a beautiful view so let me show you because you're probably wanting to see it <laughs> just to see another view because who doesn't love a view <laughs> yeah it's just beautiful I haven't even got very far at all gonna head down there that's where we're aiming to get to but viewpoint at Sharp Toy is just beautiful and this is also phenomenal looking down the valley so yeah why autumn is my favourite season especially when it's crisp like this and it's chilly but fresh and just beautiful colours. The part down to Fingal Bridge that I've just done is probably the steepest part of the gradient so just be aware that if you are doing the loop you will have to climb back up here and um, there will be a you know decline at the top but just make a mental note that when you're going down you will have to do that bit and it is quite slippery especially now with fallen leaves and debris and things um, and it's obviously a bit moist on the ground but it is so pretty and now we're at Fingal um, 
bridge and finger bridge is usually really really busy that's why i do prefer to park up there and walk down if you can get in that's the national trust car park up in castle drago uh drogo i can call it drago castle drogo is national trust so if you remember you can park there for free and saves the hassle and the busyness of finger bridge but here now so i'll show you around myself now definitely right near the wild swimming spot that I want to go into I'm starving though so I think I'll have a quick mince pie first and then hop in for all of what do you think five seconds <laughs> oh. exciting have a mince pie before we do this. Uh have this one. How do people do that regularly? How? It took me so long and I was in for about five seconds. Oh. 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 Okay, okay. I have got a cup of tea, so I'm gonna have a cup of tea, but I feel like I should get back in. Maybe. I don't know. Oh! 
go on. Come on, come on, cat. Come on. My oh, God. Okay, okay. Okay. So English. <gasps> oh, hey, Bobby. Hi. Okay, I am good to talk now, except I have got some stairs to climb. One moment. <sighs> okay. 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 Right. I feel very good. <laughs> <laughs> but my lips are still pretty blue. I am so cold. Um, I don't know how people do it, but it is very rewarding. I lasted like what ten seconds, if that. How people do laps? Oh, well done, you guys. I guess your body just kind of gets used to the shock, doesn't it? Um, but yeah. So I am gonna get my stomp on now, though, because it is about four o'clock and light fades about half four, and I need to get up over there so let's kind of fast forward this section and yeah and i'm getting myself a takeaway tonight as well so super excited for that gonna get a beat 59 burger which are like the best burgers in exeter highly recommend um yeah so let's go oh my god my lips are so blue Oh my god. I'm gonna finish the vlog here guys. I've done the circular route instead of kind of just cutting up to Castle Drogo. So yeah, as you can tell, I have run a little bit as well, just cause the light is fading very quick. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you all in the next video as soon as I can. <laughs> Lots of love. Bye.